addiction. Thanks, Nadine. Nadine says, I'm a firm believer in what this charity is doing and have been able to see the success of the women that have gone through the program. Nadine volunteers every week for change to come. Clients can live in their transitional apartments for up to two years. And now, thanks to Nadine, they'll be receiving today's $1,000 from HSN Cares. Just search HSN Cares on hsn.com to learn about all the charities that have been selected this month. And we're selecting a new charity every single day. Isn't that great? So. Thanks so much, Nadine, for being a part of HSN Cares. My name's Sarah Anderson. We are back in one of my favorite studios, the studio with food, and that's our kitchen. We're in Studio D. We've got an entire hour of some of your most favorite products and our most talked about brands. We're gonna kick it off with the Holstein 760 watt automatic fun pie maker. And you know what? They didn't really even need to put the word fun in it because I think anytime we make pies, it's super fun, especially when Carrie Maletto is here. She's our go-go gadget girl. She's going to be making pies. And what do we love about pies? We love picking our flavor. Who can agree? Cherry pie, apple pie, berry pie, uh, maybe even savory pies, chicken pot pie. <laughs> it doesn't matter because Carrie can make it in the Holstein Fun Pie Maker. It's only $19.95. Look at this. It's going to be $10 off. One, two, which three, is 30% off. Back for the first time mm -hmm. since it sold out in October. Oh my gosh, it's been months. Already a huge customer pick, over 100 rave reviews on our website. This is pie oh. making made oh. easy. <gasps> and Carrie, this is so fun. I love that you're back. We've got two colors. We've got the black, we've got the red. You're making pies your way in just about seven Whoop. minutes. A personal pie in seven minutes. Look at that. Okay, what kind of pies did you make? Okay, so we had to Yummy. start with the all American favorites, right? So we did a cherry pie and we did an apple pie, which are the two tops. I think you should start with as well. But you know, whatever <laughs> favorites you have, that is the fun of this. That's why it's the fun pie maker. You can do anything you want. So if you have an apple tree and an apple season happens and you wanna make fresh apple pie, you will have it done in a matter of seven minutes. It only takes two minutes for these to warm up. And because they're a nonstick top and bottom, I just pulled pies out of here and I can keep going because it literally wipes to clean. That's what I love about this. So I'm going to actually do uh, now, this is my uh, what is this one? I think this is my cherry actually now. Sorry. Okay. Or my blueberry. Um, yeah. So we're going to put some berries in here on this side and then we're going to do peaches over here. Now you can buy your uh, filling right straight from the can in the store. But if you have your own recipes that you'd like to make, maybe you used to make full big pies all the time. This mm -hmm. is so much easier because literally, again, you just pick whatever your favorite is Top it like this, and then here's the hardest part I always say. You close it, you lock it, and you let it do its job. So that's it. Warm it for two minutes, fill her up, and in seven minutes, you have pies. You can do two different pies at once. You can start making different pies. I, we just had a, a woman that called the other day and said during the holidays, she made 18 pies and all different flavors that everyone liked, and you can keep popping them out very easily because, again, only seven minutes. It's less than it would take to warm your oven to even well, get started That's there. what I'm thinking. I mean, it's so intimidating to make a pie. I, don't, I, I can't remember the last time I even tried to make a pie. I don't even attempt that anymore. <laughs> uh, I, I know when I'm in over my head, but this is something I can do because you can actually get pre-made pie filling. You can get pre-made pie dough, right? And you just make it yourself in this fabulous little oven that's only going to cost you, what, $20? You have to get some ice cream in there. That's, yep. that's, that's the rule. Pie, a la mode. A la mode. <laughs> and you're making it your way. If you have a favorite pie recipe, if you want to tell us your story, I know this is already getting so many rave reviews on our website. Uh, call us. Uh, we'll open up our testimonial line. And we'll just talk about pies, because who doesn't who doesn't love pie? Well, and here is a great mm. idea. So these pies that we made are pot pies. So when you want to take your leftovers, whether it be chicken, beef, steak, ground beef, you name it, you can go ahead and make a pot pie. You don't have to make it each time fresh. You can make these and freeze them. So if you want to go ahead and make, say, 10 of these, place them in bags, put them in the freezer. Whenever you're ready, you can just heat these up and be good to go. It means that leftovers never go to waste number one but number two you can have those meals for when you're on the go and on the run and you forgot about dinner yeah pop these out put them in the microwave for a few moments and or the oven to heat them back up if you like but what I do like again so I'm going to show you how easy it is to get the 
these pieces, by the way, because we were gonna give you a recipe to do your own pie dough, but you can also cut them yourselves because we're giving you the cutter. So I'm gonna talk about that in just a moment. Now, the pot pies, I actually took what's coming up, our wakaya turmeric, and I put some in my chicken pot pie recipe because that just gives it a little flavor kick, and that's really what cooking's all about is having fun with flavors and spices. So again, fill her up there. Now this one I'm going to do is a new pie we just started making. It's our shepherd's pie pie. So the same thing, the ground beef, the Yum. carrots, the peas, whatever you put in your shepherd's pie, and then you take your potato and you use that as your top. So I'm doing the mashed potato like this. I am not going to top this one. I'm going to leave it just like that, but I am going to put the top on my chicken pot pie. So you okay. see I'm doing two different kinds at once. I'm going to close this. It'll sizzle. You'll hear it sizzling because that's that mashed potato hitting the top. But what's so exciting about that is it's just having fun with your imagination. If you have, hey, I wonder mm -hmm. if I could put that in a pie. Or I wonder, because this is nonstick and it forms it exactly like a pie every time, have fun with Look the ideas. That. Look at that. And then you get like a a perfect look of a pie. Every you get, time. So do you get the designs so on the top? Here's what we did. So I'll, I'll teach you a tip because sometimes we're starting to do these things to teach you. Well, fork. So on the top piece, so when you cut this, let me show you how to cut it. So here's the cutter that's coming with. Mm, when you get your so pie good. dough, you can get this from the frozen food section at the grocery store. The large side is your bottom, so you just press it like that. So this is the bottom, and then you turn it around, and the smaller side is your tops. So you have your bottom, you have your tops. Now, if you wanted to do this design like we had over here, you would simply take a fork and you would just do this with the fork all over. That's all that is. Oh, you just make your own little crisscross design. Do you see that? And then you would just put your top on top normally, just like you Amazing. saw me do. Okay. Super easy, but look how pretty they and look. And you're getting right? the pie cutter included. Yes, so you, you know are. exactly what size and what shape to make out of your pie dough. You're also getting some great recipes that are going to get you started, right? Yeah, so a couple Perfect. recipes to get you going. Honestly, you know, most people when they first get started with this, you're going to do fruit pies. That's what you get this mm -hmm. for in general. But all these ideas I'm showing you really open you up to the possibilities of once you Delicious. have a pie maker where you can go with it. This is our egg pie. So let's say in the morning you're always in a rush. You have a few minutes. You don't want to go through the fast food drive through this is egg and ham and peppers and you could put out different ingredients usually hmm. we do um, different stuff here and so that doesn't actually have a pie crust on it yes it does oh it does so you use the pie crust correct wow. and so it gives it that instead of bread you're actually you're kind of going down on the bread a little bit so because if you use a big croissant or use mm -hmm. something that would be a lot more bread than this is actually and now here I'm okay go I'm gonna go crazy okay so now we discovered through our having fun with this. You're just now going crazy. I'm going crazy. Okay, you just were totally now. normal up until now. That's not true. <laughs> I lost it a long time we, ago. We, <laughs> we, we love you. I would say I'm a lot more we fun We love you, way. crazy Carrie. Thank you. Um, this is actually biscuit. <gasps> so we did our sausage no. and gravy. And you just no. put your sausage and gravy in just like this. When we discovered this, we were so excited, you guys. And um, I'm, gosh, I totally forget her name, but the other day someone shared with us that she was doing taco pies. So she actually got in there and had fun with uh, like a taco filling, but I'm not gonna put a top on this. What's gonna happen, it's gonna rise up, it's gonna crisp up all around the top. And this okay. is the most delicious thing you have ever eaten. And all we do is close it. So That's let's it. go over sort of the basics. All you do is plug this in. Yep. Put this on your countertop. Correct. And does it need a lot of time to Two heat minutes. up? Two minutes, you're ready to go. You put in your ingredients. Correct. You close the lid. And then, do you, how do you know when it's done? So about seven minutes. About seven minutes. Um, and you know, some recipes take five, some take eight, some take, you know, so just kind of, but seven minutes is usually the, the roundabout time. Okay, this Which one? is like, by the way, so much faster so much than faster. baking a pie. Because if you put a full okay. size pie in the oven, not only does it take like 15 minutes to preheat your oven, sometimes pies take like an hour. Exactly. It's no. like baking a lasagna, like it's never done in the middle. And when you make a full size pie, you have the pressure to eat a full size pie. So I always say. <laughs> no, oh, it's not pressure, it's opportunity. I know, well, it's how you look at it. Well, but you're right. This, you, it, it's a perfectly proportioned pie. And you don't have to fill both sides, by the way, when you're using this. So if you just wanted to make one pie for your yourself because you say, gosh, I just want to have a pie in five minutes. <laughs> Great, you're done. This is our cheeseburger pie. <gasps> Where's my fork? So it sounds interesting, but I tell you what, this okay. is delicious. It is ground beef, ketchup, okay. pickles, and cheese <laughs> on a pie crust. And you go, what? Best thing I've ever tasted. I can't even. I can't even. So that is my cheeseburger pie dance. It's <laughs> 
Oh my God, that is so good. Isn't that, it's like, it's like so like, you're like, wait, it's a pie, but it's a cheeseburger, but it, it really blends together so perfectly. And you perfect. know what I'm thinking, like this is the best invention for leftovers, right? Yes. Like, what do you do with taco meat? What do you do with leftover chicken? What do you do with leftover beef? What do you do with uh, scraps from the ham on Sunday dinner? Yep. This is what you do. You can make little pies. You can make individual pies for all the kids, for you know anybody who stops by and announce any emergency meals. Oh, yeah. I love that you can make them ahead of time. Wouldn't this be fun to like, just put a little pie in your lunch and you could heat it up in the microwave when you get to your office? 100%. That is exactly what you can do with this. Stop buying the frozen food ones that have the ingredients inside that you have okay. no idea where that meat came from. You have no idea where I'm any of those ingredients. It has preservatives galore. You can make your own pies mm. in minutes. And let's go back to where we started here. So let's see what we got. I think it's been about long. Yeah, we're getting I there. I dessert after the cheese. So I love that this did this. I want to show you something. So as you're doing this, you will figure this out. You see how this one over here, I needed to fill this one a little bit more. So when I'm in a rush, that's why this would happen. So I want to show you that you'll get used to it. And you see how this one has a little edge on it? Mm -hmm. I love when it comes out like this so I can show you. No matter what, you will make a perfect pie with this. Watch what happens. Boop. Because it's oh. nonstick. So this is going to make an absolutely perfect pie every single time because these little edges will come right off. You are a perfect baker every single time without even knowing how to bake because Holstein's doing wow. it for you. You're a perfect pie maker and you didn't even know it. And it already does the fluting for you, like that little diagonal oh. design around the edge, right? Look at that. Oh yes, that part you don't even, because it crimps it, yeah. so it does that for you. <gasps> Where does the time go? I need time to eat all the pies. <laughs> all right, I'm running out of time. All right. Now Carrie, don't go anywhere because you have the premiere of the Smeg Hand Blender. This is gonna be such an exciting presentation. This is all Italian design. For those of you that love Italian brands, the quality, the craftsmanship, the construction, this is an immersion blender. This is a handheld blender. It is super powerful. And we have a very special offer. We have the lowest price anywhere in the country. Not just here at HSN. I mean, it is the lowest price we've ever offered, but for one day only, HSN customers are getting, what, like a 50? $30 break on the price, yeah, $30 off our regular price. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. That's all coming up a little bit later in the hour. And we're gonna continue our tour of the kitchen studio here. And we are going to Fiji. I mean, last hour we were in Italy, now we're in Fiji. Well, we go to Fiji to bring you the most finely ground, hand harvested spices. This is a single source turmeric. This is all organic. It is hand harvested on the Isle of Fiji. It's only harvested once a year. You're getting one pound of organic Fijian turmeric powder. All hand, cultivated, uh, all hand cultivated. It is so fantastic. The quality is superb. Where are you guys? And I'll find, there, there you are. You're over here. And what is this? Oh! Uh, like literally, oh, like featured in No Magazine? Who knew? Okay, one of her favorite things. This is no chemicals, no pesticides, no preservatives, no additives. You are getting one pound, one pound. That's over a hundred servings of turmeric. You also are getting a recipe book. The recipe has uh, the recipe book has sixty delicious recipes. But I've got two special guests I want to bring out. Kirsten Baker is here. Where she, is she? She's over here. here hey, girl, how are you? I'm good. Kristen Baker has been with us here at HSN for 15 years. She's going to talk to us about Wakaya Perfection. We also have Chef William mm -hmm. Selner. Uh, the chef's been cooking. Actually, Chef William Selner is the author of the recipe book that you are getting so you know how to be inspired with your yes, turmeric. Yes, got some great recipes, but I want you to forget everything you've ever heard about store-bought turmeric or anything that you've experienced in the past because Wakaya is top quality. It's only uh, um, grown in one island in the entire world. And this, Sarah, is a peach passion fruit turmeric margarita. Wow. Look at that. Look at that beautiful color. So like you were saying, this is organic. It's non-GMO. It is kosher. No preservatives. No additives. Look how delicious that is. Cheers. Cheers. So oh. think about your That's drinks, amazing. your marinades, your dips. 
You can mm -hmm. add turmeric to all of that. And there are so many benefits to incorporating turmeric into your everyday life. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, just do a quick little Google search. You will be amazed at how awesome this is. And I'm just gonna show you the turmeric mm -hmm. live here in our studio so you can see this is unlike yeah, any other right turmeric that you've seen. You'll, you'll see the powder there. Uh, tell us about, and you have some in your hand. Yes. So tell this us, is, tell us why this is so different from any other turmeric that you'd find any other source in the world. So this is grown in volcanic soil that's over 7 million years old. So this is growing in such nutritious soil. It's nurtured by the Fijian rainfall, which is amazing. Look at that island. How gorgeous is that? We are bringing a little piece of Wakaya Island to you so you can add this to your smoothies, to your drinks, to your roasted vegetables, to whatever it is. And this is all hand cultivated. So what that means is there's no machinery that touches this. There, um, there's 75 farmers on the private island of Wakaya that plant this, that harvest it. So there's so much caring and love that goes into it. So this is the best quality. Mm -hmm. And when you smell it, it's earthy, it's very mm -hmm. warm. Not only does it have amazing flavor, but this isn't gonna add any calories to your dish. It's not gonna add any sodium. It's gonna add so much flavor. And this is just a little roasted um, root vegetable salad. I have a little quinoa right here. And then we also did a little vinaigrette. So you can add this to recipes that you already are using, your go-to recipes, but adding that turmeric in there is just gonna give new life. Look at that. This would be great with anything that you grill. Super mm. nice and healthy. Look at that. Wow. And, and it's you just know, gonna add that extra element. And you can tell by the color mm -hmm. that this turmeric is in sort of a, a place by itself. It's, it's that beautiful color. It's this rich, gorgeous, golden, red color. I mean, mm -hmm. it is it is the color of sunflowers. It's the color of the desert. And it's so finely ground. You're going to have some of the most beautiful turmeric flavored food. And it's it's quite versatile, right? To incorporate this into your, it's your diet. It's so versatile. And Chef has some fabulous recipes. So you can add this to savory recipes and to smoothies. Um, Chef mm -hmm. has some ice cream that I think we should sure. walk and over. Let me, so um, can... I was actually yeah. looking for the book. Here it is. I found it. Uh, this this mm -hmm. is the recipe book that you're getting. This is the pound of turmeric. It is, it is a, it's a true pound of turmeric. I'm going to head on over here to the chef. In the meantime, I want to give everyone a quick update. We only have about 150 of these remaining. So uh, unfortunately, this is last call on our one pound turmeric. You are getting the recipe book. What'd you make? Sarah, you have to try this. Yeah. Chef and our team, Chef, this is the turmeric butter this, pecan ice cream, correct? This is peach turmeric butter pecan ice cream. Whoa, look at the color. So we <laughs> wanted to color. show you that the benefits just don't stop there. Mm. They can also stop with your dessert if you choose to have dessert. This is that. amazing. Isn't it amazing? Mm -hmm. And, and you, mm. can, you can taste the turmeric, but it's not overwhelming. No, it's, it's, it's extremely subtle, but vibrant enough to bring through all the flavors of the other food. And you're gonna see, we've also created oh, a beautiful golden yum. gazpacho. That's gorgeous. So not only, do we, not only do we tout the benefits of what turmeric can do for you, but what the benefits of color, eating foods with color can do for you, reds and yellows mm. and oranges and things of that nature. Could you put it like in a smoothie in the morning? The, you have to we try did. that smoothie. We put it in a, we'll a banana turmeric smoothie right here. So this is what's so great about it. Because it is that nicely um, fine powder, nicely ground powder, you can add it here. Take a sip oh, of okay. this. I already had one if of you these today. I, mean, I know, everything right? I'll twist your arm. But you can incorporate it to so much, so you don't have to get super creative. But when you do want to get creative, Chef has so many good recipes in the recipe book. Right. That is amazing. This is so delicious. Is it and it's, it's healthy. It's good for you. Mm -hmm. It's healthy. It's good for you. I mean, Sarah, just to show you the versatility, we've created, we've, we've gone here now that grilling mm -hmm. season is coming in. We've created a beautiful beef burger. We've taken our proprietary ginger as well, and we've marinated and soaked this pineapple in it. We've grilled it, and we're going to top, we're going to add this burger to the top here. Lift that up. And what we've done is we've made a little bit of banana ketchup. So no more throwing away those ripe bananas. Say what? We've taken, <laughs> right? we've made banana ketchup <laughs> say, with the turmeric. Okay, banana ketchup. Banana ketchup. So you take wow. your ripe bananas, a little bit of tomatillos, a little bit of habanero peppers. Literally, this is a 10 minute recipe and five ingredients. Wow, so your food is gonna have, well, how would you describe the flavor of turmeric to anyone 
who hasn't had a chance to, to cook with it or to work with it at home? The flavor of turmeric is going to be very like, if, if you can picture biting into like green pepper, it has mm -hmm. those tastes mm -hmm. of vibrancy, but those, vi we in the business call it vegetal notes. So you're gonna taste those nice green vegetable mm -hmm. notes that go back on your palate. Okay. And they're going to be very um, vibrant and earthy. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so warm it has and a, earthy. It has mm -hmm. an exotic uh, taste to it. For sure. What else can we put our turmeric in? We've I mean, we've got a pound. We've we got to be cooking with turmeric. And it's yep. a two-year shelf life, by the way. Okay, but once great. you start incorporating it into your smoothies, your soups, you know, marinating your mm -hmm. chicken and your yeah, meats, smoothies you're going to go through this and you are going to love it. Look how beautiful that Do is. Do you have to put spacho? it in something that gets cooked or you can put it in something that's that's raw? You can put it in cold. something that's raw. That's yeah. what we, we've added it to this. Not only have we used yellow tomatoes, but we add this. I'm going to... Pardon the word, double dip here. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna stir up, stir this up a little bit. Oh, that, that soup looks amazing. And the color is so vibrant too. Because isn't eating and serving food a lot about color as an executive chef? It is. You know it's, how important we, that is. We are so driven to eat with our eyes. So everything yeah. has mm -hmm. to be really appetizing and appealing. And um, we've also done a beautiful chicken breast here, but we've made, we've marinated this in a grilled onion. Uh, turmeric vinaigrette with vanilla, mm -hmm. fresh uh, vanilla. So we, you I know, mean, the possibilities the, the, are endless. It, re yeah. it really is. Mm -hmm. um, I, I wish I didn't have to talk because I could just stand <laughs> here and eat, eat, eat all afternoon. But I, here's one thing I do want you to mm -hmm. know that I know a lot of you really have been trying to incorporate turmeric into your diet. Uh, maybe you cook for someone you love and you want to give them all the wonderful health benefits of turmeric. I purchased this the last time you guys were here. Mm -hmm. So my mother-in-law, if you're watching, hi Doris. Uh, Doris has her one pound of turmeric. Uh, my sister-in-law swears by turmeric mm -hmm. for her and her family. So uh, my sister-in-law is going to get hers today. This is something that's really affordable. This is not the size jars that you see of turmeric in the stores. No. And it's not, the things right? you see in the store, this is organic. This is only grown on the private island of Wakaya in Fiji in that nutritious volcanic soil. It's hand cultivated, so, so no machinery touches this. There's so much care that goes into it and you can really taste the difference. If you mm -hmm. taste something from the typical store that who knows how long it's been on the shelf, and then you try this, Amazing. you will taste and smell the difference immediately. And remember, I mean, a little bit goes a long way. Mm -hmm. So this is a two year shelf life. This is all the turmeric you need for the next like, you know, two years plus of your life. And it's a great way to incorporate into your diet. Also available, we've got the one pound of the ginger, which uh, the chef was also cooking with. So you can add that to your order as well. Uh, they're both on sale today. They are both on sale. So we took Gosh, at $20, $35 off the turmeric, and we also took $35 off the price of the ginger. They're here for one day only. We've got free shipping. We've got five flexible payments. Fewer than 100 now in the turmeric. If you're uh, still on the phones, do not miss out on that turmeric special. You're going to be so glad that you did. And we also have another great option yes. from Wakaya, and that is a set of two canisters of tea. This is also beautiful hand harvested organic tea. We've got a couple different flavors for you to choose from. You'll get two tins for less than $40. So that's a total of 40 tea bags for less than $40. So for less than a dollar a cup, you're getting in on a fabulous choice of teas. These are certified organic ginger. Mm -hmm. There's no mm -hmm. uh, pesticides, no preservatives. There's no additives. And look at the ingredients. This, these aren't just little pieces of leaves or whatever. In the ginger and turmeric, you can actually see there's bits of apple, there's bits of beet, red beet. That's where you get this beautiful red color from. And of course, mm. the ginger and the turmeric. So with the um, ginger turmeric tea, you want to steep it for a little bit longer, about five minutes, so you get that beautiful red color. And then we have the pink Fijian tea, and that's it'll be this really pretty golden color here, and there's lemon peel and black pepper. So you get all of those wonderful nu nutrients and benefits of the ginger in this. But think about, you know, if you have a hard time sleeping or you have a hard time waking up in the morning, adding that ritual of making a nice cup of tea, no matter what time right. of day it is, is so soothing. It's so good for you. And these are no caffeine? No caffeine All and herbal. no added sugar. And of course, totally organic with our very special wow. ginger and turmeric that's mm. only grown in um, Fiji on the island of Wakaya. So let me explain how it breaks down because there's three choices. What flavor mm -hmm. do you want in your tea? You can choose the turmeric ginger, 
and that's two tins of the turmeric and ginger and you can see how big the tins are you can you know keep one gift one each of them have 20 tea bags you could also choose two of the pink fijian mm -hmm. tea and that also is available for you the pink Fijian ginger tea. And you could also choose one of each one of if each. you want to try uh, one of each. So right. that's another great way to get Think in. Think about Mother's Day, Father's Day. I mean, this mm -hmm. is like giving someone you know, the gift of relaxation. This is like you're at a spa. The I best know. ingredients, it tastes so good and it's good for you. <laughs> There's nothing like a great cup of tea. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take a break so we can have a cup of tea, but we're not gonna be gone then we'll be back. We've got the Smeg Italian Mixer coming up soon. I love Jewelry Host Pick because I get to give the customer the insider look at what I feel are the must-haves. They get to see our personalities in the collections that we curate for our own personal host picks. I try to think of the things that we're going to wear every day, the things that we're going to pass down from generation to generation, and things that are on trend that are fun. So there's really something for everybody in my host pick. Tonight at midnight. And shop the whole collection now at hsn.com. My singular goal is to improve the quality of people's lives. Everything we do is intended to be unlike any other company of our kind. We just make exceptional vitamins so you could have exceptional health. It's not important that you get the products I'm offering, but it's very important that you get the information I'm sharing because information is the key to being a healthy person. And now it's time for the no noodle. What is it? No, it's the no oodle. No noodle coming up next. I want to introduce you to an item from HSN's American Dreams. It's our ongoing search for America's next great entrepreneur. Here's a little bit more. I grew up always dreaming and wanting to create things. I see something and I see that we can make it better. One day the light bulb just went off. Nobody has this. They're waiting for me to invent it. Next thing you know, you're on HSN and the whole world's hearing about it. It just sold out. You are a perfect great... example of dreams oh coming God. true. It's the new noodle. It's called the No Oodle. It's a noodle without any calories, no carbs, no soy, no sugar, no preservatives, no gluten, no fat, no sodium. It almost sounds too good to be true. This is our guilt-free noodle, and Chef Terry Rogers is here to tell us yeah. all about it. How are Welcome, you, Sarah? Terry. Good to Thank see you. Thank you. Great to see you. So the no oodle is actually a noodle that's made from 97% water and 3% water-soluble fiber derived from the konjac yam. Okay, it's a special yam because this is 100% water-soluble fiber. So basically, it's pre-cooked. What you wanna do is just drain off the water that it sits in. It has to sit in water because it's made from 97% water. So it's pre-cooked, you just drain that away. You're gonna put it in a hot skillet. Okay, you see the skillet? It's getting hot. It wants to release the excess moisture because it is a yam plant and like, like vegetables, vegetables weep moisture. So let me show you. I can do 100 calorie meals in less than a minute. So this, you put in pre, since the noodles are pre-cooked, you want to put in pre-cooked vegetables. Okay. Okay, so here I did a little teriyaki soy sauce. This whole dish right there, 100 and 50 calories, approximately. Wow, okay? and that's because the angel hair choice. This you have is the uh, angel hair. This is our number one seller. And then noodles. this is the brand new one, fettuccine. And okay, we're doing amazing the things with the fettuccine. So here, try this one. Okay, you want so. A little, you gotta salt and pepper the noodle a little bit <laughs> while you're cooking it, because you know it has no flavor on its own. It takes on the flavors of whatever you cook it with. That's really hot. Okay. So, and then I'm gonna do right here, I'm going to do this is the fettuccine. A little um, meat sauce right here. Mmm, that is good. Isn't that good? That is so good. Okay, so check this out. This and is it. This is this a meat is sauce. Done. Done. You Done. don't have to like one I mean, minute meals. You could spend an hour just waiting for your Look pan of water to boil. Exactly. And, and then you've got to put in the noodles and then hope they turn out right. And the thing about the no oodle as opposed mm. to like other noodles, this tricks the stomach into being full. Here I did a little meat sauce with fettuccine. I mm. mean for no additional calories. So you're eating less, you're getting full, you're you're very, you know, you're very mm -hmm. satiated and it's delicious. People are 
are loving it. So try it with the tomato sauce. I mean, sauce. isn't this the, the answer that we've been waiting for? This is like the answer to our prayers. I wish there was like guilt-free like a girl's pasta. Guilt-free pasta is here. This is the fettuccine, and I want to show you everything that you're getting here today. Because once you choose, do you want the fettuccine style? Do you want the angel hair style? You're getting 12 packages. Each one is the eight ounce size. So a total of 12 eight ounce packages. Again, Look you never have to worry about what you're eating ever again. I want to show you the ingredients. Because if you're like, wait a minute. It's really There's true. There's only three ingredients. Water, the yam, and the lime. Water, lime, and yam. And that's that's a very special yam, right? It's a, it's a cone jack yam, so I'd like the viewers to Google it because it's it has incredible, incredible health benefits. And the Japanese mm. have been eating this cone jack yam plant um, for centuries for health benefits. Okay, so basically I love it as a chef because mm. it's a clean canvas for cooking. Mm -hmm. I'm not about to eat anything that doesn't taste delicious. So here I did like a little chicken fajita. No oodle? So try oh, this one. What a one. great idea. Yeah. And tell us how you came up with this idea. Because okay, so, you, so you're a restaurant owner and yeah. you're a chef. Um, I was always looking for healthy alternatives to my, for my customers. And one day, one of my customers came in and he was gluten-free and vegan. This was in January 2009. And he said, here, Terry, cook with these noodles. They'll put you on the map. And then I created the name No Oodle because it had oodles of nothing, no calories, no <laughs> carbs, no fat, no mm. soy, no gluten. And I put it on my menu. And the first week, we sold like 300 dishes. And then people were talking about my restaurant. Is this the No Oodle restaurant? And that's how it all started. So wow, also, you could do... You're right. There's more people dishes. that are... We're, we're looking at all the health benefits benefits of our food. You're watching your calories. Uh, maybe this is good if you're gluten-free. Gluten-free. Wheat-free. Yeah, I mean. Vegan. Look, the, it, no calories, kosher. no carbs. Look at this. Now, I love cottage cheese with pasta, but I don't eat pasta anymore because I don't need those extra calories. So I mm -hmm. do a little cottage cheese with no oodle. And then you have a whole bowl of like comfort food. Okay. So here's why people love love the no oodle. It's really simple. What a great idea. This eight ounce bowl of pasta, regular traditional pasta, has has 40 mm. grams of carbs and 139 Wait. calories. Just that. This little bowl. Just, this little bowl. Which is not it, one 140 serving at a restaurant. calories. <laughs> okay, and this one is no calories and no carbs. So it's like Whoa. Okay, and wait, it's there's no calories, no calories, there's no carbs, no there's carbs. no sugar. No sugar, no, no soy, no sugar, no soy, no preservatives, um, no fat. Really, it's a clean wow. canvas for for cooking because it picks mm -hmm. up the flavors or whatever you cook it with. Because that's what we love about our pasta. We love the sauces, right? So you can still work with all your regular family recipes. Exactly. All you're doing is switching out the noodle. Exactly. So now, it couldn't be any easier. Again, all you do is choose angel hair style or the fettuccine style, and you can pick these up today. You're getting a pack of 12. Each of these are eight ounces. So how many, is this like a, a serving yeah, for? Yeah, so I eat it. I eat a whole, I eat the whole ball. And what you want to do is you want to put equal amounts of no oodle to protein protein and vegetables. So you want to put eight ounces of no oodle with eight ounces of protein and vegetable. Okay. But that's basically one bag for one person. And if you want to really lose weight, no oodle fits into every single diet program out there. It's no point. And mm -hmm. basically people are eating it this one bag with like, breakfast, lunch, and yeah. dinner. It comes out about $3 and change a serving, really. And that's why a lot of you love the no oodle. If you're a huge fan, we'd love to hear from you. I know some of you are on auto ship and you stay on auto ship that way you're never out of your favorite this no pesto. noodle. It's the no oodle. No I think oodle. It's a fantastic Here's idea. Pesto. Uh, doesn't mean you're giving up your pesto. Doesn't mean you're giving up your your you know red sauce and meatballs. And you don't have to because you know what? The good fat is good. It's the carbs. It's the carbs. And everything these days have carbs. But we don't need the carbs. Mm -hmm. Look at this. I chopped up a bag of no oodles with two eggs. Make a frittata with roasted okay. vegetables and stuff. So you could and do that like instead of potatoes. Yeah, for breakfast. And then, of a bread. Yeah, what about this for breakfast? This is, um, it's our new pastina shape. 
Actually, we only have a few of these, but we did actually a couscous. We changed the couscous to, for pastina right there, and then we put it with fresh fruit and yogurt for breakfast. Let me show you the, this there, is my one favorite, other version the you can choose. I just want to show you the shape of it. If you like those little uh, round, almost like couscous shaped balls, yeah. uh, that's called the pastina? Or yeah. pastina? Pastina. Pastina, okay. And it's great for kids, like kids love that one well. because it's like dipping, you know, like kind of mm -hmm. like dipping dots. So wow. anyway, look at that, and all this, this is. food. And you're not sacrificing flavor. This one is like 180 calories we counted. 180 and calories. You feel just as full. So full, you feel so satiated. just as satiated. I mean, I love it, it's fantastic. And then also, look, if you have if you have a kid mm -hmm. that, does, that loves pasta, all he wants to do is eat pasta, and there's no fiber, you wanna put fiber in his diet, mix half. Do half no and half. No oodle and half pasta. They'll never know the okay, difference. Okay, you just mix it up and put your <laughs> sauce on and it'll be it's just delicious. delicious. Thank you, Terry. We gotta Thank go. You, Sarah. Thank you. Uh, Thank thanks you for guys. bringing us your American dreams. Uh, congratulations to Terry Rogers for the no oodle. By the way, you can save $15 off your order today. All you have to do is spend $75 on your HSN credit card, and that's that's pretty easy to do if you find a couple items that you really love. Hey, $75 becomes $60 at the checkout line. We love how that works out. Okay, and we've got more in the store for you here at HSN. Our next one is simply called The Rock One Pot. Did I get it right, you Stephanie Roberts? You did get it right. Stephanie Roberts is here. This is called The Rock One Pot. Why? Because it's one pot that does it all. It's your five-quart nonstick Dutch oven. It is one of the most versatile items you can have in the kitchen. One pot to roast, to fry, to steam, to braise, to boil, to bake. Why do we call it the rock? You're gonna find out why. It's a rock-like surface, and you're getting it here today at a customer event price of $39.95. Free shipping and handling. Let me show you the two beautiful colors you can choose from. We've got that beautiful red. We've got the black. You're also getting the recipe book. It has 15 different recipes just to get you started. And it also comes with that beautiful tempered glass lid so you can actually look and cook at the same time. So it's a fantastic design, double handles on the side. It is deep, it's 12 inches in diameter, it's five and a half inches deep. Wow, you could you can put a lot of food in this. Absolutely, in this, Dutch oven. this is a workhorse. This is for anything that you need to do in the kitchen, from searing steaks because of its great even heat distribution to five quarts of space. We're going to put together a quick one pot meal because one pot cooking, I got to tell you, it's the only way it works in my world anymore. <laughs> one to use on the stove, one to wash. You can serve in it as well. I put in some water. It's deep enough to hold pasta, spaghetti, full length. Now I pick up protein. In this case, I'm going to use pepperoni. Add some spices, add some vegetables, and then you know what happens? The starch mixes with the water and thickens into a gorgeous sauce. This recipe is in the gorgeous book that is going to come with it. Mm -hmm. In case you're looking for one pot ideas, add a little onion. And I mean, literally, how much hands-on time for me was that? So what? 30 what? seconds. Tell us from the beginning, like, this is called a Dutch oven. What's, what's, a Dutch what, oven what comes Dutch from oven? the concept that you would put everything in one pot and then put it in the oven. So guess what? You can do that. This goes from the stovetop to my oven, safe up to 450 degrees, or I can do it anywhere else I want to put everything together. So in this case, I'm going to take this pot that I just put together, I'm gonna slide it over onto an extra burner so we have a little more room to work. And within the 30 seconds it took me to put this together, now I am good to go. You just made dinner. That's gonna cook within <laughs> 10 minutes. So I'm gonna take yours and I'm All gonna right. put it here and we're gonna get ready to make something else. But first I wanna show you how well we're doing here searing these steaks. Look at the gorgeous caramelization color. What is happening in this pan is all because of the rock technology. So I've got two different types of technologies working together to make a pan that does everything for me. The reason it's called the rock, you can see right there in the surface, this pan is actually pelted in its processing with little tiny pieces of metal. It's called shot peening. It's something they actually use on airplanes and in the military to make aluminum harder. Then, 
once you have those little kind of markers in there, those little dimples, that is what keeps the food from sticking. So touch the surface for mm -hmm. me. What does it feel like? Smooth or rough? Uh, a little rough. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like an pebbly. orange peel. A little pebbly. I love that. So those are actually baby little dimples that form little air pockets under the food so that now when I'm doing something like deglazing my pan, which by the way smells amazing, with a little salt, pepper, red wine, butter, and we're going to add some rosemary. It's not anything that I have to worry about getting stuck with. Here's something else I wouldn't normally do on a pan. Okay, because it's non-stick, it's not non-stick from a chemical treatment, it's non-stick from the fact that the little rocks gave me that dimpled surface. So that means it's okay to use metal utensils. I can't scratch anything wow. off the surface of this pan because it was never sprayed with anything. So I'm not gonna have the scary things about non-stick. Nothing is going to flake so off. So it's not a surface, it's not a layer. It's a can Treatment. bake or stir or flake exactly. off or get into your food. This is the actual surface of the pan. That means that nonstick is going to last forever. Forever. For this the is life a 10-year warranty. Of the pan. Wow, 10-year exactly. warranty. So you can beat on it. You can do whatever you want to. It is made to take it. That is what the mm -hmm. rock part of this is all about. But the one pan is simply this concept that all we have to do is put a bunch of things in a pot, <laughs> as long as there's a good balance of liquid and solid, and anything can cook. Two Two pounds of shrimp. Remember, I've got a five quart capacity here, so I can make a lot of food. I'm gonna add a sticky sauce is what it's called. It's basically soy sauce, honey, some garlic. Again, this is also in the recipe book. I'm gonna throw in a little butter because I like to thicken it up a little bit. And then from here, all I do is let it go ahead and start to simmer. So one pot cooking is basically cooking without me having to do a lot of the work. And it's a great concept. And what I like about the look of this is that You've got the choice of the glossy red, or you've got the choice of the black. Of the black. Which and has that pebbled detail all, all over the way around. These are all double riveted, solid stainless steel handles. They're ergonomically designed. So it's nice because you are maybe going from the stovetop into the oven. It's easier to balance than to hold something with one wrist that's probably going to flip or twist. You're also getting the tempered glass lid. I love that it's see-through. You can actually see how things are going. You can maintain that heat. There's a couple little steam vents too that let the steam escape. And it's a fabulous way to cook. What I particularly think is amazing, Stephanie, is that this is a Dutch oven for $39.95. Now, I thought Dutch ovens were so much more expensive. I thought I had to buy those expensive ceramic brands. Exactly. No worries there because, listen. How does this compare? You are getting the sear. You can see that with this gorgeous steak. The ability to have that heat transfer evenly, get the sear on the steak, the reason you buy those expensive, high temperature compatible pans. So check, I've got that. But the other thing I've got here is an amazing surface that literally wipes clean. So that I am able to, I just remember, sear the steak and deglaze the pan. So I should have little bits of everything stuck everywhere. Look at this. This is a damp towel. And suddenly I have another gorgeous clean surface to work with. So I have wow. everything I love about nonstick Mm -hmm. without having to worry about the chemical treatment. Here's some eggs. This is always my favorite test, right? We're not spraying with nonstick spray. We're not adding any butter. In fact, the only reason I'm using any butter in anything today is simply because I do like a little bit of butter flavor. Who doesn't? Oh, well, exactly. <laughs> when I'm not using it for nonstick but purposes, you don't have to use as much. You don't have to add oil or butter, and that Nothing. means you're not adding extra calories, you're not adding extra fat. So you're actually cooking eggs with no oil, no spray, no butter, right in the bottom of this The Rock One Pot. This is a fabulous newer item here at HSN. If you've never tried The Rock, I would love for you to pick it up today. Think about how easy it will be to do everything in one pan. I will tell you, whether you're the chef or you're on cleanup duty, you appreciate there's only one pan to clean at the end of dinner. Exactly. <laughs> Instead of all those different saucepans and you have a stock pot where you were boiling the water or you were, you know, sauteing the vegetables. What on earth is this? I have to show you. We need to talk capacity. Okay, you asked about a Dutch oven. Well, one of the reasons we love a Dutch oven is because it can go into the oven and make large meals. Remember, this is a five-quart capacity. Guess how many pounds of ground beef are in the <laughs> shepherd's pie? I'm afraid this to ask. This is five pounds. 
pounds of ground what? beef. So you can use this for those big family occasions. Remember, from the stove to the oven to serving because mm -hmm. it looks absolutely gorgeous. And you wow. know what? When we popped this in the oven, we got that gray, crispy crunchy mm -hmm. of cheese on the outside. And you are welcome to have a yeah. bite. I know we've been filling you up this hour. But again, it's all about the versatility. I want one pot that can do absolutely everything and for me. Why Why wouldn't you want one that's less than 40 bucks? I exactly. Mean, uh, you could spend hundreds of dollars on Dutch ovens, but if you're just, you know, want to try this one pot cooking trend that's so important right now, or you want to try cooking big, healthier meals that you can prepare ahead of time, or you can just pop it on the stove, you know, run your errands, get get your little chores done around the house, and then, hey, say, dinner's on the stove, everybody. Go, go and get it. This is the answer. It's so affordable, and it's already a huge customer pick. Everyone who has picked this up has loved it. I love that for, you know, what, a few flexible payments of $9.99, we can get it home to you. And you can see what everyone's talking about. Again, there's there's no chemicals right. on the inside. There's, no treatment. There's no treatment. There's nothing baked on, nothing to flake off, nothing to fall into your food and that non-stick really is there for the life of the pan. Absolutely, and let's give it a test with these eggs here. So literally, okay. I cracked the eggs, I walked Try away, and I went and put things in and out of the oven. I am able to release these, absolutely no problem. Look at my metal utensil as well. I love doing that, okay? So now I've got my you eggs released. You don't have released. to worry about it, Look scraping? At that. Nope, don't have to scrape it because remember, I'm not scraping mm. off a surface. Let's see if I can slide these correctly right off the pan. Oh, that looks good to me. It, How about like that? Slid right out of the pan. Slid right out of the pan, straighten off my edge, and we are good to go. Again, no nonstick spray, no butter, just absolutely okay. gorgeous. And it cooking. looks like you already cleaned the pan. Absolutely. Like there is nothing left on the inside. Yep. So the cleanup wow. is as easy as can be. Again, these go straight into the oven. Mm -hmm. You can do rolls. I mean, so this is a great sheet. You know, you think you have to do three rises and right. knead and do all that. Buy frozen dough. It comes in those little tin pans. Oh, no, no. Take them out of the little tin pan, put it in something like uh -huh. the rock, and then they rise and expand to the width of the pan. So it looks like we did all that work, and I won't I'm tell anybody. I'm all about fooling your friends. Exactly. You Again, we can bake with this. So rather than just using small cake pans, put it all in one and make a gorgeous mm -hmm. cake. And it, you can carry it. You can okay, serve it. What about the dishwasher? It. Oh, no problem. But you've noticed you won't need it because everything we've done, wipe you've clean. been able to wipe clean. Oven but it safe, certainly is up safe. to 450 pounds. Uh, good for all stove tops. Good for stove tops. Ceramic. Good for burners. Glass, no problem. Infrared, gas. gas. It'll induction. do whatever you need to do. If you do use induction, you just need to use the ring that comes with your induction stove. Fantastic. The recipe book gives you tons of ideas, but literally, yeah. from steaks to baking, this is the workhorse <laughs> in your kitchen. From breakfast to dessert, I mean, you can do it all. I mean, if you have one kitchen and one pan, that's the answer. The Rock One Pot. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Now, don't touch that hot pan unless you've got home the finger mitt and trivet set. This is fabulous. This is a non-slip, heat-resistant, stain-resistant pair of oven mitts. You also get the silicone trivets, and it's 50% off. Biggest deal of the show, 50% off today. You get the left hand, you get the right hand, you get the two silicone trivets, and you can take those uh, right into the oven and right to the stovetop and right to the table and the cool blue, the cucumber, or the fuchsia. Okay, it's time for our showstopper. It's one day and one day only. We're gonna give you not only the lowest price ever, but we're gonna give you the lowest price you can find any absolutely anywhere in the country. It's called the Smeg Hand Blender. Look at everything you're getting here today and check out how this works in action. This is that handheld immersion blender. But this just isn't any brand. This is a top of the line, award-winning Italian brand that is known for, look how fabulous that is. <laughs> <laughs> that is known for their vintage aesthetics, their vibrant colors, and their durable Italian construction. If you are looking for the best of the best, this is where you would shop. This is the Smeg Hand Blender. We have it in several different fabulous colors. We have the black, we have the cream, we have the red, and we have the blue. Here's your handheld device, super powerful, 350 watt motor. You are getting the masher for gorgeous mashed potatoes. 
windows, you are getting this incredible 48 ounce beaker. Look at how beautiful this is. It even comes with the lid that's all made of Triton. That's that plastic that looks like glass. You also are getting your whisk for all of your eggs, for all of your whipped cream. And then you're getting the food chopper. This is like having a little mini food processor so you can continue getting the perfect food every single time with Smeg. This hour only, we have six flexible payments. Today only, we'll take $30 off the price and $10 off shipping and handling. So $40 in savings. It's our only airing. It's our only show. Carrie Maletto is going to stop the show with the... Am I saying it right? The Smeg? Smeg. Tell yes. us about this brand. So since 1948, Smeg was well known first for making really cool stovetops and ovens. Then they moved into refrigerators, which they always had that incredible retro style, and that's what made them famous. But now you can have Smeg at home as a handheld blender that can use that you can use in your kitchen with so much versatility. This is my potato salad that I just made that could be your potato salad. It's a tarragon potato salad. I made my mayo right there at the top, as you saw from scratch and mayonnaise is something we don't think about making from scratch so often because we say hey we could buy it in the store but did you know that mayo is just oil a little Dijon and an egg and then when you start adding things like a tarragon and lemon you're making a gourmet mayonnaise and gourmet mayonnaise I had wasabi chipotle Ooh, so yes. expensive to buy in the store you can make it yourself and I think that's what Smeg inspires me to do because this brand is going to give you the ability to change your attachments and be able to use this throughout all of the different jobs in your kitchen. It's coming with a masher. So the masher is great to mash your potatoes, your vegetables. Here, I'm going to actually do our avocado. So it's going to basically, I was Ooh, saying, wow. it makes That's it gorgeous. happen so fast, okay, that you don't have to work hard in the kitchen. That's the last thing I want to do is work hard in the kitchen. So once I'm done with this, I'm actually just going to pop this off like so. And when we're done with this, avocado toast is a big deal right Right now almost every restaurant that you go to is serving it right so I'm going to take a little bit of our avocado that we just made and top it here now you can use this to mash your potatoes you can use this to mash uh, maybe you want to make baby food or you want to make uh, uh, some people like to mash mm -hmm. their carrots or they like to do different things like that but for me I think the masher attachments really fun and easy to use it takes uh, mashed potatoes used to be so hard to do especially if you had a manual masher um, so with this we have a perfect avocado toast to start off our day so we're going to show you kind of maybe a really different kind of breakfast to do and then i'm going to put here my tomatoes Ooh, and those are so good for you aren't oh, they my i mean goodness. Uh, they're so filling they're so nutritious and again you are getting the masher you're getting all the attachments and only today are you getting 30 dollars off the price six flexible payments and free shipping and handling which is saving you another ten dollars this is the okay. lowest price in the country this is a premier top of the line brand. This is an Italian manufacturer that yes. goes back to 1948. For over 65 years, they focus on elegant solution. So, Absolutely. Uh, show us what you're doing now. This is the so, chopper. So this is our chopper attachment. This is going to give you a two cup capacity. Now when I'm using this, we can do versatility at the top of our speed. So I can do a slower speed, I can do a faster speed. Right here is where I can pulse if I want to pulse. If you're working through a bruschetta or something that's got some chunky pieces through it, but you can see that while I'm working it, it starts at the bottom. I'm going to turn it all the way up on my speed and it starts to push up. It's got an S-shaped blade that once it pulls through, there it goes, mm. it's pulling a vortex through the middle. So as soon as that's done, you're gonna have your spread completely finished. This is a cauliflower spread. So what I think is really trendy right now is all these different avocado toasts. But I said, I'm kind of sick of avocado. <laughs> Can I make something else? This is cauliflower, cream cheese, and feta with a little bit Ooh. of olive oil and lemon. And you see how amazing. amazing this spread comes out. It's super soft. And cauliflower has become the thing that everyone wants to find something to do with now. So it's cauliflower rice, cauliflower, uh, you know, mash. Right. Well, it's a nice alternative to mashed potatoes if you're trying to cut down on carbs and, and just get your veggies. Look at how beautiful that is. And that's something you could make at home. Exactly. This is a pickled egg. And if you're, if you're not much into pickling or doing your own pickled eggs, you could absolutely do a hard boiled mm -hmm. egg and just put olives mm -hmm. on here because you want that tartness. So here's how breakfast can really take off just by having this in your kitchen and being able to do all of these different jobs with it. This so is a nice capacity, by the way. Two the, cups the, is, the, isn't it? The size of the chopper. That's something you don't usually see when you get these add-ons. So I uh, love the capacity of the chopper. It's like getting a food processor 
with a hand blender. It does the immersion style. Yes, and as something well as I want to show else. you. Smeg is big about innovation. What you will notice different about us is how much quality we have, but also the way we do smart design. So at the bottom of your chopper is actually a lid. So this actually comes on oh, top. So when you're done, you would take your S-shaped blade out and say you had some of this left over. This becomes mm -hmm. the lid to put this in your refrigerator. That's number one. Number two, you may have noticed at the beginning, we have a pitcher that's coming with us. Our pitcher is a six cup capacity, but it also has a lid. So you have, a, this can go straight to the table when you're done. Most immersion blenders on the marketplace give you a beaker that only works for the immersion blender so really that's all you can use it for so I love that this is giving yeah, you the that accessories are very very high-end exactly so is it easy to adjust the attachments and to oh absolutely so change them so I'm going to show you actually this right now so here you'll see the arrows on the back so the arrows make it easy for you to loosen and then tighten so this shows that we're in the locked position that's all you have to do smeg keeps it very simple so you'll notice even up here at the top the dials so it has six different placements for your speeds and it moves just like this with this ergonomic hold what's nice is I can do this with this hand and hold with this hand. I can literally hold this with any job with just one hand. Now, what I'm doing here is uh, a sorbet. Ooh, nice. So see how fast it just made mince me, basically, yeah. of these frozen peaches. Um, so you kind of let this go for a moment. I would pulse a little bit, make sure you get, you see how it's pulling down. It's doing that S-blade, is doing the vortex right through the middle. And once we're done, and we know that we've gotten everything, which I feel pretty good about it right now, I want to take you to the end of breakfast. Breakfast gets finished off perfectly when we can take our peach sorbet, and then we can add a little bit of champagne, or you can do your Prosecco, whatever you prefer. What but a great idea. And all that was was frozen peaches. All that was was frozen peaches. If you wanted to harden it up a little bit, you can go ahead and place it into the freezer. Um, but literally, it already is nice enough to do something like this. What a um, great idea. And you can, what's so great about this, Carrie, is that you can make everything yourself and you can know exactly what ingredients you're putting in. Uh, you could do like what, homemade peanut butters? Homemade, sure, could absolutely. Could you do homemade almond butters? And here what we're doing actually, to show you the power of the whisk that you're getting, it's a stainless steel whisk. And this is actually a chocolate almond spread, okay? So this actually is quite oh, dense. You can see when I put it me. in here, right? So this has an almond butter. It has that hazelnut spread that we all know and love. It's quite Italian. A yogurt, honey, and a little bit of vanilla. And as I get in here, you see how this works so fast, and it takes that and makes a spread very quickly. Mm. Okay, we're done. And it smells so good, right? It you really, does. I can smell. You go, oh my gosh, what's happening here? Okay, so let me show you this spread. So once we get in here, this is a very velvety, delicious spread that you can make wow. during the summer that's mm -hmm. not too heavy. I think because the yogurt kind of keeps it a little bit lighter. So what you want to really have, I always talk about how when I snack, I want to snack really well. I want to make sure I'm eating the most high-end yummy stuff, but I also want to make sure I'm being smart. So the fact that this has yogurt keeps it a little bit lighter, but please look at how beautifully whipped and perfect that this is. And you can serve it with fresh fruit, uh, pretzels, cookies, you name it. But this to me has become mm -hmm. my new favorite summer snacking. Wow. So, you know, I've already entered summer already in my mind. Okay, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you gotta go where you, where you can't get fast enough. Exactly. By the way, uh, we don't have a lot of these to go around. It's just our one yes. presentation only special. It's called our showstopper. You cannot find this at this price anywhere else. We have these four gorgeous shades. We have the red that she's using. And again, that's a vibrant red. That's like a race car red. We have the black. We have a beautiful cream, but the blue color, which I'm gonna hold up here, the so blue pretty. is the most limited. And this is what they're famous for. Vintage aesthetics, those vibrant colors, and durable Italian construction. This is for those of you that want the best brand your money can buy in the kitchen. And you want that warranty, you want that incredible dur durable construction. You're gonna want that one blender that you only buy once, right? You're, this Absolutely. is not something that you're replacing over the years. It, it is an investment, it's worth every penny at this price. Okay, I'm gonna try your little cream. How is that? Mm. Isn't it unbelievable? It's really unlike anything oh, else. It's super silky smooth and delicious. Here I'm making tomato sauce from scratch. You know, tomato sauce is something that they put a lot of sugar in. They put a lot of preservatives in. It's something that, yes, you can buy it at the store, but if you want to make a large pot, it's going to get very expensive to keep buying those bottles and those cans of, of tomatoes. So have your own fresh tomatoes. Make It never tastes as good as when you make it yourself, mm -hmm. okay? So I just want to show you that it's that easy. To make a puttanesca, I would add simply 
some uh, capers. I would add, I'm adding my Kalamata olives and I'm adding my red pepper flakes. And that would take this from a mm -hmm. regular tomato sauce to any, you can make any type of sauce that you want simply by adding your spices and your ingredients yourself. A lot of times on the marketplace, they're putting tons of sugar in your tomato sauces. Right. And a lot of times you're trying to meet your goals and you want to have something mm -hmm. delicious, but all those extra things they've added is taken away. When you have this, you can pull it out of the drawer so easy and yeah. be able to make things Hold super up the, fast. the cream one one more time. I just yes. want everyone to see, this is the benefits of having a handheld immersion style blender. You're not dumping the pasta sauce into another food processor. You're not putting your sauce in a blender and Correct. then transporting it back to the stove. Correct. If you want to puree your soup, you do it right in the pan. You want to mash those potatoes, you do it right on the stove top. If you want to puree those tomatoes, you do it right in the pan. You can instantly chop, mash, blend, mix, whip. Sauces, dips, Everything you that you it. need all in one. And that's the benefits of a smake. And they're so beautiful. You're gonna love how they feel. You're gonna love the quality. Carrie, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. I know. We love Enjoy our smeg, and it is our best price anywhere, one day only. Tomorrow, join me 10 a.m. Eastern for Jewelry House Pick. I can't wait to take you shopping. Have a great day. <laughs> I first got my start by having a very bad habit of spending a lot of money on jewelry. And I saw that I could buy some beads and try to do the 